Uh, first of all, I wanted to ask you to please um, tell us more about uh, your activity uh, in Romania in regards uh, to <coughs> what you have been doing here and re in regards with the um, U.S. Embassy here in mm -hmm. uh, Bucharest. Okay. I, to, to start from the beginning, I arrived in Romania in November of 2009 and I stayed there for four or five years understanding the mission of the office was primarily for Romania is uh, cyber criminal activity um, and developing a plan to combat cyber crime and we have a, we have a three-pronged approach we try to assemble what many people will refer to as a task force and the task force includes uh, academia law enforcement and uh, private corporations who may be impacted by cyber crimes. That's what we did uh, to start in Romania. And we reached out to the community in law enforcement, judges, prosecutors, to expose them to training, to connect them with US law enforcement, to connect uh, American judges with Romanian judges, um, prosecutors in Romania now have an open dialogue with prosecutors in the United States to uh, combat uh, transborder crimes. And you got to remember the cyber crime in Romania primarily targets Western uh, countries that are fairly wealthy and uh, in, their, in their minds they, they look at it as the targets. So it created an environment where it was very necessary for all of the parties, prosecutors, judges, cybercrime police, all of them should have open dialogues with their counterparts in the United States. So that's what we worked on primarily. I think we did a fairly good job in connecting those entities. And that was probably the vast majority of our work other than trying to uh, provide training, equipment, 